In the first video I really got into was the process was to, to clean the talker tape and then that turned into finding out that the uh, little cap that acts as a fitting between the, the swivel here and the arm itself had cracked and uh, you know when one goes the other one's probably gonna go not too long after that but that just sits into there like so uh, I kind of thought something was up because the arm uh, wouldn't hold in a position it would just kind of droop so I guess that's when the crack was going on so originally I wanted to be able just to come up with a, a version of this in silicone. I made a cast and tried a silicone cap in there to avoid having to take out the rivet and replace everything. But um, that was to no avail. So ordered from Cotswold their kit um, for making that repair. And um, everything is there. Uh, if I can get that all out, but anyhow, um, new pegs to go into the arm and replacement caps, then that will fit into there, into the end. So, and then uh, some rivets to put into the arm. So, I've never done any of this before. The elastic would be for down in the hip to replace the uh, elastic from the legs going up to the little peg over in the torso here to hold that together. I'm not looking to replace that elastic right now. The elastic in the figure is pretty good shape. So, um, so like I say, I've never done this riveting before uh, with the figure. So, uh, trying to remove the original without damaging, nicking up the, the figure here and stuff. So, we'll go through it together and uh, see what happens here. To just kind of nudge this up some, because what I'm wanting to do without pushing this real bad is get some gap in here between the, the uh, plastic and the tip of that rivet, because I've kind of given up on this thing of drill it out. So I think I'm wiggling that up enough. Uh, this is a little snip, snip tool. I'm sure there's a better name than a snip tool for it, but I'm going to use this. The back side is nice and flat, smooth. It's a little bit curved, and uh, figured this way. Anyhow, uh, you know, I'm making it up as I go here. So uh, I'm gonna work that up into there and uh, try to just snip off the head of that rivet that way. So let's give this a shot, literally. And there that went. Ricocheting throughout the room. And let's take that. There we go. And pull that out the rest of the way. There we go and voila it's like a remodel uh, versus new construction you go into new construction in your house it's so easy but when you go in to do a remodel you got to clear out the other stuff which can be a pain in the butt okay so going through a lot of trial and error and uh, this is the process i've come up with i'm not saying this is the process it's just the one that I finally came up with for this. 
um, the other rivet setter gouges into the plastic too much so and the uh, pop riveters are not designed for this kind of a rivet um, so I am taking a nail punch this is 1 32nd of an inch remember wear your goggles there uh, Harbor Freight comes in a three-piece set I think it was like four dollars or something um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting this in to kind of flare the uh, end, the tip of the rivet, and then I'm taking my hammer, ball peen, and then uh, after I've flared it out, I'm taking that to, to just drive the thing on in and uh, send it home. Uh, just one other quickie, uh, you know, it's my choice on how to do it here. I'm not telling you you have to. Uh, I've put the smooth head rivet facing uh, towards the bend of the arm. I figure it's the dressier side. It's just something maybe keep in mind as you're working on yours. Uh, if the figure is out, you know, um, whatever. The clean side is to the front and the flared part will be to the back, not so visible. So it's just a cosmetic thing, but something maybe to think about as you go forward on your repair um, on your figure. So, uh, I'm gonna get this lined up. You know, I don't know that much about rivets, obviously, but it seems like the rivet should be just a little bit longer, but I got it to work here. So, uh, I'm gonna line that up. Let's see how we're doing here on that. My hands, of course, are going to be in the way because it's it's tricky. It's, the crazy thing is rounded, and uh, I didn't want to put a clamp. I've tried some other clamps for it uh, with fabric, but then everything just kind of starts bunching up too bad and blocking your ability to handle and do what you're doing. So uh, go at that. And I'll do a couple more good. Let's see how we're doing. It's staying in snug. It's flaring. Uh, okay, I prefer to do some small taps rather than just huge, heavy. I don't want it to go crooked and split and go funny on me here, so I'll try bringing this up some more. Come on. It's flaring out. I just would like that to be flaring out a little bit this direction as well. Uh, <laughs> plastic and paper, I guess if I had one of those grippy uh, pads underneath that would help. So there's a tip for you to improve your rivet replacing here. All right. Still not exactly how I'm wanting it here, folks. Come on. Keeps twisting here. Okay. All right. I guess that's about as good as I'm going to get at it there. I'm going to do a little bit more because it's kind of a rough edge up there, but this edge back here is nice and snug to get that auto focus to focus in. There's no gap between the plastic and the head of the rivet, which is good. And I want to flatten out this edge here a little bit more. Like I say, it's kind of rough.
but uh, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, good work, man, as the commander would say there. So we have that properly installed. And now, next will be just reassembly. Ooh. Make sure our box is snug. It just sits into place. There's no adhesive, no screws, nothing like that. And uh, we'll get this jigsaw puzzle person here put back together. So we'll lay the arms out straight just to help them balance and hold. And here. You know, I'm curious. I wonder in the factory when they made these things if they had like a uh, like a die or form to lay all their parts together and to hold it. If they just got really good at balancing all these things. Okay, so starting at the bottom, probably should have pulled that out first, but or stretched it out. I'm going to start down here. Two pegs, that one. Uh, to fit in and that just the screw so the real connecting front back are taking place at the bottom oh, something just slid out on me okay and let's just cross our fingers from there get this lined up and make sure the other parts are kind of holding into place. I think that, I think they got it. I think they got it all on the first shot there. I do believe. All right. Now all that's left is just to uh, that in two top shoulder screws and we'll fire them up 